This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 18, and verse 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem Kudash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of the Great Mostone. Peace and salutations had elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem Kudash Barakatam. To his aquanium, Wa'akim Wa'akwafium. You know, you elders, your brothers, your sisters, the whole for elect out there laboring, keeping the commandments to the best of your ability. Giving diligence, make your call and election sure. And of course, keeping faith. And Yahweh, Wah, Yahweh Shai, in these last days, and these perilous times we're living in, and the perilous times rapidly approaching. This is your brother Pashai, Ban Yashala, and this will be a quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, going into the name of the Heavenly Father and His beloved Son, our strong towers. You see, and we have those names in the land of our captivities, here in Babylon the Great, and wherever we're scattered abroad at. The Heavenly Father revealed His name unto us in these last days. Now it was a long time that we fell away, and we didn't have the names of Him or His beloved Son. You know, we was calling upon just God or, you know, calling his son, you know, Jesus or Jesus, you know. But we once you once the Heavenly Father revealed the secret to the servants of prophets, you know, he, he revealed his name unto us, man. You see, he revealed his name unto us for us to call upon him in these last days. You know what I'm saying? Starting right now, you know, all the way up to the time of Jacob's trouble. You know what I'm saying? All the way into the latter end, we can be glorifying and call upon Yahweh by Shemel Shai, right? So don't listen to no one saying that we don't have the names, man. You see, or that we don't, we're not going to get the names into the kingdom. You know, that's all lies, man, because the scripture saying Baruch 2 and verse 28 on down to 35 that, you know, in the land of our captivities, we shall think upon his name or call upon his name. You know, and other scriptures, you know, I believe it's Sirach 17th chapter going into how the elect shall praise his holy name. You see, so the elect of the nation of Israel have the name of the heavenly father, man. You see, and in these last days, the elect going to call upon Yahweh and Yahweh Shai and they're going to deliver us, man. You know, the Heavenly Father going to send back his only begotten son to deliver the whole for elect, man. The elect, you see. And during the time of Jacob's trouble, you know, with martial law, concentration camps, our temptation, all hell breaking loose, famines, pestilences, earthquakes, natural disasters, all that are going on in this earth. You know, the whole for elect going to call upon Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. And um, angels will be sent to um, minister to brothers and sisters, man. Angels will be sent to deliver brothers and sisters, man. You know, the Lord can give brothers, you know, spiritual powers, man. You see, give us the strength to endure you know, because we trust and have faith and confidence in Yahweh, Wah, Yahweh Shai. Right, so let's read that again from the top. Proverbs 18, verse 10. The name of the Lord, Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. You see, the righteous is the elect. They're going to run into the names of Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, and be safe. They're going to dwell in the secret place of the Heavenly Father and abide under the shadow of His protection, man. The shadow of the Almighty. You know, I'm pursuing to Psalm 91. You see? So through the spirit of Papi Yahweh I'm gonna play this clip right fast, you know, um, that I did not too long ago, going into the names in the Hebrew and stuff like that, and how Jeremiah 16 and verse 21, when Heavenly Father said, This is my name. My name is the Lord. You know, we go into the word Lord, L-O-R-D, all caps, it says Yahweh in um, a Syrian Hebrew. You know, so I'm sure I'm sure that right fast. I'm gonna come back with some more precepts through the spirit of Papi Habashi Now Shai. And I just pray this is edifying. So I'll be back in a second. Shalom. All right, Shalom, Shalom. All right, so real quick, you know, through the spirit of Papi Habashi Now Shai, you know, I'm further elaborating on the video lesson I'm doing right now, going into um the name of the Heavenly Father and His beloved Son is Strong Towers. You know, and we have those names in the land of our captivities here in Babylon the Great and wherever we're scattered abroad at. You know, brothers is you know prophesying. And praying, you know what I'm saying, to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, prophesying in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, so we have the names, unlike what, you know, certain camps teach, you know, and they push the vibration of, you know, JC or Christ, or they say Most High in Christ, you know, a lot. You know, and we know the Most High is a title, you know, but we got to um, always push out the vibration of the Heavenly Father's name. Understand it, because it's, it's a strong tower. And a brother, he had a be beautiful testimony where, you know, the names delivered him, man. You see? So, um, right quick. So, we got the ancient Hebrew alphabet. Then we got the Syrian Hebrew, um, the Ezra script, during the time we was in the Syrian captivity. You see? So, I'm going to both right fast through the spirit. I'm going to the names of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and the beloved son, Yahweh Shai. You see? So, the first character for the name of the Heavenly Father would be Yah. Right? Yah. Which is right here. Let me try to zoom all the way in. Right? So, you got Yah. Right? So, that would be the first character right there. Yah. Meaning he. Right? Meaning he. Right, then you got ha, then you got wa, then you put a marker, you know, un, um, in between 
the Y and the Ha, after you put the Ha at the end. So it's Ya, let me say it one more time through the spirit of Salakia. You got Ya, right? Then you got Ha, then you got Wa, then you got Ha. Then you put a marker right between. You know, I wish I had like, you know, something I could mark to show y'all through the spirit. But um, that's, that's Yahweh, meaning he exists. That's the name of the heavenly father. You see, and we have the names. Now in the Assyrian, right? The first character we read right here, Yah. You know what I'm saying? You got Yah. And I'm going to show you in the scriptures how the name of the Heavenly Father is in the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? So people, you know, claim that we don't have the names. They're lying to you. You know, they got paid off. You know, they're not teaching the vibration of the name because they got paid off, man. Symbol like that. So you got Yah, right? Then you got Ha, which is this character right here. Right? Let me try to zoom right there so you can see. So you got Ha right under it. You got the character right there. You got Wa. Then you got Ha again. So Yah, Ha, Wa, meaning he exists. You know, he is, he is, you know, that's the name of the Heavenly Father. And that's an Assyrian, right? So we show it one more time in the Paleo for the name of the Heavenly Father and one more time in the Assyrian. You know, you go, um, you know, write this down if you want through the spirit, right? So you got Yah, right? And it's the Paleo Hebrew, you know, you got Yah, then you got Ha, then you got Wa. Then you put the Ha again, so Yah, Ha, Wa. Then when we put it together, it's spelled um, Y, A, um, y A H A W A H. You see, that's how you spell the name of the Heavenly Father. Y A H A W A H. Yahweh. You know, but in Paleo Hebrew is written in these characters you see right here. You know, now in the Syrian, same thing. It's spelled Yahweh. Y A H A W A H. But the characters in the Syrian Hebrew is right here for Yah. So you got Yah, right? Let's go over. Then you got Ha. Then you got Wa, then you put the Ha again. And you put a marker in between those two to connect it. You know what I'm saying? At the end. Same thing for the Paleo. You know, making it Yahawa, not Yahawa Ha. It's Yahawa. You know, so the name of the beloved son, you know, um, which you can find the name of the Heavenly Father in the name of his beloved son, which is beautiful, man. You know, so you got Yah, right? Then you got Ha, right? Then you got Wa. Then you got Shalaki right here. Sha, right? So this is the name of the beloved son, Yahweh Shai. So one more time, let me start off with. Right? So you got Ya. Then you got Ha. Then you got Wa. Right? Then you got Sha. Right? Then you got I. Which is like the O right there. Right? That's I. Right? So you put a marker in between the Sha. Right? Right, Salakia, brother doing a beautiful um live lesson. Right? So you got you put a mark in between the sh and the I, making it shy. Right? So the name of the beloved son is what? Yahweh Shai. You know, and I wish I could write it down, you know, but this is just like a um a screen recording. Right? So you got one more time in the paleo for the beloved son, you got Ya. Right? Then you got Ha. Then you got Wa. Right? Then you got Sha, then you got I, right? Yahweh Shai, that's the name of the beloved son. Now in the Syrian, right, you got Ya, right? Same character right there, Ya, right? Then you got Ha, then you got Wa, right? Then you got Sha, which looked exact and you know, look very similar to the Sha right here, right? Like a W, you know, character, but it's not a W. It's like yeah. So, so sh. Let's start over again. Slakia. So you got ya. Then you got ha, wa. Then you got sh. Then you got i. You see? Then you got the character i, right there. Right. So ya ha was shy. That's the name of the beloved son. And those names are strong towers. You know. So the reason I'm showing that because I'm about to read the scripture in Jeremiah 16 and verse um what 21. I'm gonna read it again. And I'm going to go into the blue letter and show you. As a matter of fact, I'll do that right now. All right, so this is Jeremiah 16, verse 21. And it reads, Therefore, behold, I will this once cause them to know. I will cause them to know mine hand and my might. And they shall know that my name is the Lord. And we know all caps, L-O-R-D, goes to what? The name of the Heavenly Father, which is Yahweh. You see? Now, I'm going to go into it through the Spirit and Papa Yahweh, about you now. Shy, right, fast, right? So anyone saying we don't got the names, they're lying to you. 
right? So it's right here. You know, it's, they, they say Jehovah over down here. It says Jehovah. But we know there was no letter J until the early 1600s. So what is the true name of the Heavenly Father? And we know there's no O in the Paleo-Hebrew. You know what I'm saying? Right? So let's go into it. Right? So the first character, and you read it from the right to the left. The first character will be Yah. The second character will be Ha. The third character will be what? Um, wa. Then you got Ha. So Yah, Ha, Wa, Ha. But then the marker right there brings it together. That little marker right there brings it together. So you got Yah, Ha, Wa. That's the name of the Heavenly Father is right there. You know, so he said the name. Let's go back to it. Right, let me go back to it. I think it should be down. No, no, no. Oh, it's more scriptures on the name of the Heavenly Father right there. You know, gen, gen, all throughout Genesis. You know what I'm saying? All throughout the scriptures, man. You know, it's countless more too. But, uh, Salakia, let me see something. Let me just go back. All right. Jeremiah 16, 21. Therefore, behold, I will this once cause them to know, I will cause them to know mine hand and my might, and they shall know that my name is Yahweh. You see, you cannot get around it, because when I went to the word, the Lord, let's go down one more time through the spirit, right? Then back to the um, the lesson on how the name of the Heavenly Father and the Beloved Son is strong towers, right? So down here, right, so the, um, right here it says what? Therefore, behold, I will this once cause them to know, I will cause them to know mine hand and my might. And they shall know that my name is the Lord. And let's go into the word, the Lord. Right? Like I just, you know, showed that through the spirit. The characters. I'm going to go back to the the um the, the thing I got. I'm going to show you in a second. Right? So from right to left, you got the first character is Yah. Second character is Ha. Third character is Wa. Then you got Ha. Yah, Ha, Wa. Yah, Ha, Wa. Yah, Ha, Wa, Ha. The, the um, marker right there puts it together. So it's Yah, Wa. You see? Now let's go back. Um, it's like, yeah. One second, Yashala. All right, so when you go back very fast in Assyrian, because that's what it showed, the Assyrian Hebrew, right? The first character you saw was this, which is Yah, right? Then you saw the second character, which is Ha. Third character was right here, Wa. Then you had Ha, and you had a marker putting them together. You know, so the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. That's the name of the Heavenly Father. You see, his beloved son name is Yahweh Shai. You see? Now back to the lesson. Now let's pray this edifying. Shalom. Okay, Khan. So let's go into Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. Go into the name of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Right? So Matthew 1 and 21, it reads, And she shall bring forth a son. And we know that she is Mary. And we know that Joseph laid with Mary and planted his seed inside of Mary, contrary to popular belief. You know, because if you start at verse 1, it goes into what? The book of the generation of Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach. You know, it says the son of David, the son of Abraham, Abraham begot Isaac. So it goes into the lineage, you know, leading up to Yahweh Shai, man. He came from the line of King David, you know. So his father, Joseph, his physical father, Joseph, came from the line of King David. You see? So I just want to put that out there. Matthew 1 and 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai. It says Jesus, but we know the letter J was not invented until the early 1600s. You know, so what was the true names in the, in the, um, in the Hebrew? It's Yahweh Shai. Right? For he shall save his people from their sins. And that's what Yahweh Shai means. He is the savior. You know, he is the deliverer. You know, he came to save and redeem the nation of Israel and bring us back into the Heavenly Father. You know, starting with the elect, of course, because the, the, the wicked Israelites now they get born through the elect in the kingdom of heaven. You see? So the name of Yahweh Shai is also a strong tower because when you get the scriptures in Acts, let's get this right fast. Right? We're going to get Acts. Chapter where well, one four, right in verse twelve, and it reads, right Acts chapter four verse twelve, and it reads, neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name. Matter of fact, I kind of want to start up some, right? I kind of want to start up some. Let's start verse one, Acts four and one, and as they spake unto the people, the priests and the captain of the temple. And the Sadducees came upon them, being grieved that they taught the people and preached through Yahweh Shai, the resurrection of the, from the dead. And they laid hands on them and put them in hold until the next day, for it was now an eventide. Howbeit many of them which heard the word believed. And so, you know, the apostles were getting persecuted for preaching Yahweh Shai, you know, and preaching the resurrection from the dead, you know, preaching the gospel. You know, a lot of people, a lot of our people believed back then. Right? So how be it many of them which heard the word believed 
and the number of, of the men was about 5,000. So 5,000 was getting sealed, man. You know, and it came to pass on the morning, on the morrow, Slakia, that the rulers and elders and scribes and Anat and um, Annas, the high priest, and Caiaphas, and John, and Alexander, and as many as were of the kindred of the high priest were gathered together at Jerusalem. And when they had set them in the midst, they asked, by what power or, or by what name have ye done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said unto them, ye rulers of the, of the people and elders of Israel, right? If we this day be examined of the good deed done to the impotent man, by what means he is made whole. So it was healing people in the name of Yahweh Shai. You know, be it known, it's like it, be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, because Christ means anointed, you know, but Yahweh Shai is the anointed. So Ha meaning the, um, Mashiach meaning anointed, the anointed, right? So Yahweh Shai Hamashiach of Nazareth, whom he crucified, whom Yahweh says God, but we know that's going to the Most High Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, right? Raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you whole. You see? So by Yahweh Shai, they was raising the dead, you know, healing the sick, cleansing the leper, doing miracles, man, which sealed 5,000 at one time. You know, verse 11, this is the stone which was set at naught of you builders, which has become the head of the corner. Verse 12, this point I was to bring out. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So there's no other name you can call upon, you know, to get delivered in these last days, man. You know, and if they have the name, if they had the name back then, you know what I'm saying, we have it now. You know, and we know according to the scripture in Revelation, I believe the eleventh chapter, there was a falling away. So we fell away and we didn't have the true names. You see? But then the Heavenly Father revealed it. You know, starting with Elder Abba Bibbins on down to the Elder Apostles today, until the younger brothers, we have the names, man. The prophets are back on earth, and the Heavenly Father wrote a secret unto the prophets. So we have the name of the only begotten Son and of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. You see? So those are the names we have, to, we have to call upon in these last days to make and get delivered. And those names are hallowed, you know? Let's get that in Matthew right fast, you know? The name of the Heavenly Father is hallowed, and so is His Son. You know? Because the Heavenly Father said, well, He placed everything under His Son's feet, man. You know? So everyone going to worship and bow to Yahweh Shai. You know, so Matthew 6, and I'll just start at verse 9, right? Yeah, this is, this, is what, this is what I wanted. Matthew 6 and 9. After this manner, therefore pray ye in heaven. Second, after this manner, therefore pray ye, our Father, which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. You see? So we have the name of the Heavenly Father. His name is hallowed, man. You know, that's what scriptures say what? In the law, don't take the Lord's name in vain. You see? If you do that, the Lord's going to put you to death, man. So then you can't teaching otherwise, or we don't have the names, or you don't have to call upon the names, and this time the third, man, you're lying, man. You're a false prophet. Because at one point in time, you know, this, this is a certain camp, this leader was teaching the names, man. But now he don't teach the names anymore. Why? Because he got paid off to not teach it. Well, the reason is that, you see, they praying to Jesus Christ. That's, that's idolatry, man. You know, you know better, you know? Because scripture said, well, study to show that stuff approved, so you know there was no letter J until the early 1600s. So what was the true name of the beloved son? Going to the Hebrew, you know, when he, went, when he spoke Hebrew, man. He was a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Judah. So he had a Hebrew name, which was, which is Yahweh Shai. You see? So let's just finish this prayer out. This is a beautiful prayer to talk to Yahweh Shai. Matthew 6 and verse 9 is written in red. So this is Yahweh Shai speaking. Matthew 6 and 9. After this manner, therefore pray ye, pray ye, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as you forgive our debtors and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever to wab a month. You see, on to the next precept through the spirit of Papi Abba Shemel Shai. So that's going to the, how the Heavenly Father's name is what? Hallowed. And so is his sons. Because no other name under heaven will probably must be saved, man. So in these last days during Jacob's trouble, and you're going to have Jake's calling upon the name saying, Lord, Lord, but they're not going to enter the kingdom. Because they wasn't sincere, you know? They wasn't sincerely seeking Yahweh Bashim Shah. You see? The Lord don't want you to seek him last minute. You know, he wants to seek him now. So you say, what? Well, Terry not to turn to the Lord. You know, so times is approaching where people are gonna um um try to, you know, like people that's not ordained to make it, they're gonna try to, you know, sneak into the fold, you know what I'm saying? Start to try to sneak into the ministry. But the Lord gonna cast them out, man. Like you got Sa Sa Netta, you know, you know, he knows he knows the names. 
But the Lord gonna destroy this man, man, because he done mocked and scoffed and made fun of the prophets, the men of the Lord, the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, you know. And this dude is a he's Sanet is all fucking he's a demon, man. But he knows the names of the Heavenly Father and his son. You know, he's bringing it out not so long ago, saying the Lord sent him and shit like that. And the Lord didn't send that, man. You know, and he know the name, so now everyone I say the Lord, Lord, we enter the kingdom of heaven. Now, can Sarnetta repent? Of course he can repent. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the Heavenly Father, so he can't repent. You know what I'm saying? But I highly doubt it. You know what I'm saying? That's just me personally, you know, thinking I highly doubt, you know, because this dude done did some dirt, you know, but I'm not the Heavenly Father, like I said. Just wanted to put that out there. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's, a, that's an example of how someone knows the names, but not everyone that know the name going to make it to the kingdom. You know, and you know a man by his fruits, you know, based off his works, you, you can see the, the path that he's going towards. I'd rather I'm reiterate it, put it like that, right? So Psalm 61 verse 8, so will I sing praise unto thy, so I can read it from the top, right? Psalm 61 and, and it says to the chief musician upon Nekhina, the a Psalm of David, right? Verse, verse 8 says what? That's over verse 7. He shall abide before the heavenly father forever. Oh, prepare mercy and truth, which may preserve him. So will I sing praise unto thy name forever. And who was what's the name of the Heavenly Father? Yahweh. What's the name of the Son? Yahweh Shai. That I may daily perform my vows, man. So forever we gotta praise the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh and the beloved Son. You know, and we call upon those names in these last days. He will deliver us. They will deliver us from all evil, from all troubles, man. That that that's coming upon us. You know, because it's about to get real real bad out here man and we can't stress that fact enough you see it's gonna be all hell breaking loose on every single side man and if you don't have the names if you don't trust in the names you know you're not gonna make it man you see i got two more precepts i'm gonna close out i don't want to make this too long straight to the point let's get Cyrac. chapter 17 verse 10 and it reads Right, and the elect. Shall, shall I start up some? I'll start verse one and jump down. Sirach seventeen and one. Then, um, the Lord created man of the earth. So the Lord Yahweh, but it's lowercase l o um l o r d. So it's capital L, lowercase o r d. We know it's going to Yahweh Shai, because the Heavenly Father created everything through His beloved Son Yahweh Shai. So it says the Lord created man on, of the earth and turned him into it again. He gave them few days and a short time and power also over the things therein. Let's jump down. Right now we know talking about Yahweh Bashim Let's jump down to verse uh let's see. This whole thing is beautiful, man. Let's jump to first verse 9, verse 8. He set his eye upon their hearts that he may show them the greatness of his works. He gave them the glory and his marvelous acts forever, that they might declare his works with understanding, going to the, the nation of Israel. Right? Verse 10. And the elect shall praise his holy name. Beside this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for an heritage. You see? So he, he beside, um, let me read that again, verse 10. And the elect shall praise his holy name. Beside this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for an heritage. So the Lord gave us what? Knowledge, you know, the law of life, you know, wisdom, understanding. And he blessed it with his name, man, to call upon. And he let them praise his holy name. Let's end it off with Baruch because you got people saying that we don't get the names of the kingdom. And that's a, that's a bold-faced lie, man, because we're going to have to call upon those names, you know, right now. Baruch 2 and the start verse 28, right? The start verse 27. O Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, our power, thou hast dealt with us after all thy goodness and according to all the that great mercy of thine, as thou spakest by, the, by thy servant Moses in the day when thus, when thou didst command him to write thy law before the children of Israel, saying, If we, if ye will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations, where I will scatter them. For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people. And our people are stiff-necked. That's what, you know, um, two-thirds here in Babylon the Great going to get put to death and totally annihilated by that fire. You see? Because they're stiff neck, man. Only, only the elect of remnants returning back to Yahweh by Shemel Shai in these last days. We read on down. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. And that's happening right now. You know, this prophecy is coming to pass as we speak. We're, we're, we are remembering ourselves, man. Remembering that what? We are Israelites. You know, we're, we're sons of the Heavenly Father. You know, Yahshua Ali, he printed the power. You see? Right? And precious, you know, daughters of Sarah, man. You know, our, our, the sisters out there, man. 
You see, verse 31, and shall know that I am the Lord their power, for I will give them in heart and ears to hear, right? And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. In the land of captivity, we think upon the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, man. You see? And return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds, for they shall remember the way of their fathers was sin before the Lord. And I'll bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and they shall be lords of it, and I will increase them, and they shall not be diminished. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their power, and they shall be my people, and I will no more drive my people out of, of Israel out of the land that I have given them. You know, so the Heavenly Father about to deliver his elect in these last days, and that's gonna trickle down to the entire nation of Israel, because you know, the wicked Israelites that down inside side will get born through the elect. You see. So the name of the Heavenly Father and the Beloved Son is Strong Towers. They're Strong Towers, man. And we have the co those names um, all help bring loose in the society. Let's actually, I think I skipped the preset. I want to get out. Let's end it off with this. Acts 2 and verse 21. And it reads, And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Yahweh Shav Nazareth, a man approved that of the Heavenly Father Yahweh among you by miracles and wonders and signs, which the Heavenly Father Yahweh did by him in the midst of you, as you yourselves also know. You know, so whosoever amongst the nation of Israel call upon the Heavenly Father Yahweh and the beloved son Yahweh Shai shall be shall be saved and delivered. You know, but we also know according to scripture, you gotta endure until the light end. You know, because not everyone that know the name is gonna make it, man. You see? So we gotta have trust, confidence, belief, faith. Um, and Yahweh and his beloved son Yahweh Shai, you know those are our strong towers, man. Like I was, like I mentioned earlier, a brother had a, you know, a brother had, he he shared a testimony what he went through, man. You know, and how the name saved him, man. You see at gunpoint, you see, and that that shows a power in the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, man. And brothers have countless dreams, you know, um, where they call upon Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, then the Lord bless him with spiritual powers, the power of flight, the power to call down fire from heaven, all types of stuff, man. You know, so it's a lot of things we got to be looking. We got to, it's like there's a lot of things to look forward to and the times is coming. The Lord bless it with, with his name and his son's name. And we have to utilize it in these last days and call upon those names. You see, so I pray you was edified through the spirit of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. I want to give Kohalayim La, Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Ha'ak Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. With that, I'm going to say, Shalom.